Hi, welcome to Blender Clinic. Um, so today I'm going to show you something, a little technique I just developed. It's something I've wanted to be able to do for ages and didn't think there was a way you could do it in Blender. But on some experimenting, I have found a way you can have a bone in your a custom bone shape, a, a bone in your rig that is visible but unselectable. Okay. Um, and uh, and today I'm going to show you exactly how we can achieve that. So um, in order to do that though, I have to introduce you to a little add-on I'm very fond of. Uh, it's for Bone Layer Manager and it is updated for 2.8 uh, and, and onwards um, and maintained by my good friend and colleague Finn. Uh, it's, it's available for free, but um, I highly recommend you sing the guy 10 quid, whatever you can afford, um, just say thank you and to keep him maintaining it because I need him to keep maintaining it because I can't rig without it. And once you use it, you won't be able to rig without it either. <laughs> but you will rig damn sight better than you did. So there we go. Uh, anyway, go get it. It's wonderful. So this is Bone, uh, bone Layer Manager. And essentially, it displays all of the bone layers that you have access to here as a list. Blender should basically do this by default, but it currently doesn't. But it does give us some other functionality and shortcuts um, that I find absolutely invaluable. And it also means that it's always in my viewport. And when I'm rigging and I, I, need, I need that big view, then I got that. So anyway, enough of the sales pitch. Go and get Bone Layer Manager for God's sake. Um, also, it allows you to generate these wonderful little UIs and export them as scripts. So like when you send it to someone, uh, so you send it to a client, the UI is, is still there, but they don't need Bone Layer Manager to access it. Very good point. Anyway, um, so what I want to be able to do, I've developed a way of doing, is I'm, so I'm, I'm using my character and there's certain bones like these um, guide bones, but I don't want, I want you to be able to select the control, but not the, the guide bone there that shows what direction the knee pole is to. Or um, I tend to build these fancy UI. Uh, which I like. So I've got these UI menus or these custom switches to allow you to change the functionality of a model. Now, as you can see, I've set it up so you cannot select the labels or the outer switch, but you can select the switch on the inside. Okay. Uh, and you can't select, oh, you can select that one because I haven't set it up yet. And then you, these ones, um, I've, I've, a number of bones I've added in and you can't, uh, and they're currently selectable. So they're gonna get in the way um, when my when when my animators, when the animators are trying to interact with the rig, they're gonna accidentally be selecting these bones and we, we don't want that. So how do we go about it? Well, all of the, the UI panel stuff exists on this layer, but it also, some of them exist on this layer and I've called it locked bones, okay? And if you add a, um, a padlock to it, you can basically have them as visible on here because they exist on both layers at the same time. And one of the layers is locked. So it's locked on both layers. Does that make sense? If not, don't worry, right. So um, we'll get into that. So we've got, say, this bone, which currently, um, whilst I've locked off all of the, the, the transforms on it, so you can't transform it, you can select it accidentally. I don't want that. So it exists entirely on this layer, but I'm gonna hold down shift and put it on this new layer, which I've called locked bones. And then I'm going to hit the padlock. And now you can't select it. Now I'm gonna do another bone. So here's these, uh, these bones. In fact, I'm gonna do them on mass. So I'm going to select all of those bones and then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click there and I've added it. Now you can still select it. Why? You need to unlock it and lock it once again and it will update. And now those bones are unselectable, but I can still access all the controls. All right. So I know that might not be, you know, I know that's probably not the most oval. Uh, anyway, go out, get Bone Layer Manager, get stuck in and start locking bones. Uh, maybe even sneak onto your friend's terminal and lock all their bones on a separate layer. <laughs> and don't tell them, save it and run away. <laughs> Corporate espionage. Don't do that. 
that would be a real dick move and i just thought of it and i'm ashamed of myself anyway i hope that helps